Meanwhile, the NTSB on the scene of a deadly plane crash in East Windsor trying to figure out exactly what happened. All of this last night near Skylark Air Park. News 8's Renee Schmiel has the latest on the investigation. We spoke with a neighbor who didn't want to talk on camera, but he tells us he saw that plane crash last night. He said it appeared the plane had just taken off from Skylark Air Park when it went down. East Windsor police say the plane crashed only about 50 yards from a private driveway, landing nose down in the woods near Wells Road. They say the plane looked to be mostly intact, except for damage to the front and to the wings. Officials expect it'll take about two days to do a thorough investigation. The NTSB will be taking it over. And police don't yet know if the pilot radioed for help before the crash. But they do know there were two adults on board. Normally, we do call the Bradley Airfield, and uh, they insist us there's multiple federal agencies that come out, um, and TSB uh, takes the lead on it. Officials say the last deadly plane crash in this area was about 35 years ago. We reached out to Skylark Air Park, but they did not want to talk on camera. In East Windsor, Renee Schmiel, News 8. News 8 will continue to follow developments into the plane crash investigation and the death of Aaron Hernandez. Be sure to download the free News 8 app for the very latest details.